What's up guys, Rachel and Nick here. Back, back with another video. Back, back with, with another, another video. video. <laughs> On our way to Philly. Gonna get some cheesesteaks. Maybe see where Ben Franklin is, is chilling underground. <laughs> <laughs> see the Liberty Bell. See where he's in his long sleep, Ben Franklin. See where Nicolas Cage was in National Treasure. Okay, travel update. We made it to Philadelphia. It was a much longer drive than we expected. A lot of traffic. Um, where are we? We're kind of like in the center of the city near all the tourist stuff. We just saw a peak of the Liberty Bell. It looks like the line is pretty long behind us. I don't know. What do you think? Should we do it? Yeah, I'll take it. All right. Okay, here we are. Liberty Bell. Hey, Rachel. Hit me up with a Liberty fact. A lot of build up to come see the Liberty Bell. But here we finally are at the bell. Travel update. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining, it's pouring. Benjamin Franklin is snoring. Yeah. That was pretty good. We're gonna go see him. <laughs> Alright, we're we're heading over to uh to Ben Franklin. We're gonna go see how he's doing. Yep. <laughs> Rachel just discovered what it's like to be homeless and you're searching for warmth. She got the steam coming up. <laughs> All right, so the rain finally died off a little bit. A smidgen, sorry. A smidgen. But uh, now we're walking over to, it took us a little bit to find it, but we're walking over to Ben Franklin's grave now. Then we're gonna get some lunch. <laughs> oh, look, the mint. Here it is. Mr. Hundred Dollar Bill himself. Wait, that's Benjamin and Deborah Franklin. So, pretty cool seeing Ben Franklin's uh, grave. Rachel had some thoughts. I was wondering if Ben Franklin's wife has had as many boyfriends as he had girlfriends. <laughs> I didn't know he was married. Yeah. I thought he just slept around. He was like a big playboy back in the day. Yeah. We're gonna go get some food next. Take him to the food. Don't do the swipe up thing. <laughs> So, it was a little bit of an adventure getting here. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Tony Luke's in the GPS and all of a sudden I was at the Philly Stadium and there was a game going on and it's raining and it's just a giant mess down there. So it was pretty stressful. We found the right place, the real Tony Luke's, the original Tony Luke's. We got a couple of cheese steaks. So now we're gonna test them out. Wait, what, Let's do the Whiz first. Like... Man, my old car, my old Corolla, I used to have a McDonald's tray sitting inside. It would be perfect for a situation like this. Oh, is oh, it not wow. cut in half? 
These are huge. Alright. I got a lot of napkins. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad. Is it good? Mm -hmm. That's. I feel like that's probably what's gonna end up making it, is the bread. Careful. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's very good. That definitely beats any cheesesteak I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Like it's just not even close. So, shout out Armand. Mm -hmm. This place was suggested by him. He's, um, he used to, I, I think, what, he went to college in Philadelphia? Yeah, so he went to college in Philadelphia, so he knows a lot of places a lot better. But he wants us to bring him back a sub, so we had to figure out if he wanted sharp or mild provolone, so we're just gonna have the other. He wants a mild, so sharp it is for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, time for the sharp. That sharp provolone. This is a meaty bite. Oh, meaty. Too much sweet. Crap, I'm full. It's good. I like the whiz better. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, who eats a sandwich backwards like this? I know, but there was no, like, meat or cheese at the front of it. <laughs> you agree? The whiz? Mm -hmm. Like the whiz better? Yeah. I think the provolone's good, but I think the Wiz adds like a lot more like flavor to it. All right, guys, that was our quick little trip to Philadelphia. 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 We got rained on. We sat in traffic forever. <laughs> but we saw Ben Franklin. We also saw previously unknown Deborah Franklin. Yeah, yeah. We got some cheesesteaks. We figured out what cheesesteak is the best. Thanks for watching.